Hi, this is Pastor Bruce, your missions pastor. I want to tell you about a strange incident in April 1816. On June 6th of that year, six inches of snow blanketed New England, and that was followed by hard frost in July, in August, and September. Crops froze, prices of food skyrocketed. There were famines in different parts of the world. Well, what caused all this? The year before, Mount Tambora in Indonesia exploded, the largest volcanic eruption ever recorded in recorded history. It ejected 60 megatons of sulfur in the atmosphere. And this sulfur had an incredible effect because it diminished the sun's impact upon the earth, lowering surface temperatures on the earth by three degrees around the world. Famines happened in many parts of the world because of that. You see, things that happen in a places a long ways away can have an incredible impact on us today. And I want to tell you something that's happening a long ways away in Xinjiang province in China that is impacting us right now in ways that we perhaps don't even know. I have with me here a battery. Rechargeable batteries today are made with lithium, 60% of which supply comes from Xinjiang province, and very likely that lithium is tainted by forced labor. This is a cotton t-shirt, 20% of the world's cotton comes from Xinjiang province. This t-shirt is 100% cotton, made in Vietnam. Where do you think they got their cotton from? Well, they got it from China since they don't grow their own cotton. In fact, the cotton garments you're wearing today probably are tainted by forced labor somewhere along the line, as well as many other products. The cars we drive, uh, the electronics we use, many of these things are tainted by Uyghur forced labor. Why am I telling you these things? Because in the year 2000, we adopted the Uyghur people as an unreached people group, and we've been working with them ever since. Uh, nine of us went to Xinjiang province in 2004. We've been supporting the Old Testament translation since 2008, and it's just about finished. Uh, a number of us have written letters to manufacturers saying, hey, please don't use forced labor. And there are a few of us who continue to pray on a regular basis for the, for the Uyghur people. But we have a rare opportunity coming up on Friday, April 21st. We have a Uyghur man coming, and he's going to share his personal story of how this genocide that's happening in China affects him personally, his family, people that he knows. Plus, there's going to be a number of seasoned workers here who have been working with Uyghur people, bringing the gospel to them for, for many years. They're going to have a panel. They're going to tell you about what you can do to have an impact to bring the gospel to Uyghur people and also to have an impact to put an end to this genocide that's happening there. Uh, we've been dabbling our toes, maybe our feet, in the waters of Uyghur ministry, but now it's time for us to jump in. So again, I want to encourage you to make put that on your calendar, Friday, April 21st, uh, at seven o'clock right here at Center Point Church. You can sign up using your connection card. Please do that. We need your name and your phone number and email address. Or in the foyer, there'll be people asking you, hey, you coming to this? So go ahead, sign up today. I'll thank you for it.